Hey y'all, good evening. I know I look crazy right now. I feel absolutely insane right now. As far as uh, you know, I think I'm I think I'm a little traumatized behind what happened last night. Um Yeah, I keep blacking. I, I keep blanking, you know, coming in and out and stuff because I keep replaying this stuff in my head. But <clears throat> it's some things I've been wanting to talk to y'all about anyway. And this kind of gave me a reason to go ahead and do it. I know I look crazy. I've been crying or whatever on and off just to um, go on and get some of this stuff out. You know, when stuff like this happens and I, if I ever try to hold it in, it's not a good thing. It's not good to be holding stuff like this in. And so I just went ahead and just cried and then, so, you know, some of it just came out naturally anyway. But, you know, I was I was leaving the store today. Well, yesterday. No, this was last night around a nine, nine something last night. I was leaving the store and um, I was playing some music. And uh, like I said, I have a little free time. I was going to be off from work for like four days. So I um, decided to just take a block. And I was just going to come right back to the house. And where I'm from and where I stay, the place where I stay at, it's not really nowhere to block to. But, you know, it's so few little areas. So I just did that with my neighbor. And, um... I, I got to the stop sign and when I looked to the left, I um, went to look to the right. So I was going to turn right. I looked to the left, didn't see nothing, looked to the right. And as soon as I looked to the right, I see a big Jeep coming towards me. Um, and they hit me, y'all, at the stop sign. I'm telling you, they turned in. They turned in on my side. Them people had to have been drunk or something. They had to have been drunk. They hit me and then they they backed up and they took off y'all they don't know if i had kids in the car or what they don't know they don't know if they hurt me or not they don't even know they just backed up and took off y'all i thought they was gonna get out and see if i was okay or some or to exchange information or whatever they needed to do but no they didn't do that <clears throat> they left and um Yeah, um, but I wanted to talk about something leading up to this situation. This is what I feel like happened. And like I told y'all about the energy of this month is just horrible. I've been tired at the beginning. I was tired the whole beginning of this month, y'all. Just that, that weird tiredness where, you know, you running off of fumes type of tiredness. But I did it, though. I kept going. But I feel like this is what led up to this is because yesterday i had went to the gas station out of town i went to a gas station um some kind of drew me over there and i went over there to get gas and as soon as i pulled up it seemed like probably 30 seconds later this young lady starts walking straight up to my car and she's like i know this may sound weird i'm not trying to be weird or something like that and she says that um she left her purse and her wallet at home and she really needed some gas for her car and then she was about to run out of gas and she needed to make it to a certain um place and so she needed some cash and if if i had cash on me that she would give it back through cash app um she'll cash out me the money so i looked in my purse and um i just pulled out ten dollars that i had on me i think i had like 15 on me in cash and I pulled the money out and gave her um, gave her $10 of it. Well, I held it first in my hand and I waited for her to send me my $10 through Cash App. And she sent it and I gave it to her. Um, <clears throat> one thing I did notice about her appearance is that she did have on crystals. and But she had on the one... She had on crystals and she had on like this eye. So... I think that has something to do with it, y'all. And um, with me exchanging currency with her, that really me giving her that money was an exchange of energy too. I have to talk to y'all about stuff like that. I wasn't gonna talk about that at first because I know like some people they don't they they don't they ain't gonna be able to receive what I'm gonna say well, but it's true. 
it's true. We can't be out here just handing people money just because you feel for them. You know, I was just trying to help. And honestly, I thought about, before I did that, I thought about what Miss Williams had told me about giving certain people money because it can cause warfare, y'all. Um, if they ain't in Christ, because it's like you exchanging, you exchanging with them, you know. If them people not in Christ, a lot, stuff can happen to you. Like, and, and it's and it's real. It's been proven to me several times whenever I um, exchange anything with a certain person or with certain people. And I was, I, I wasn't going to talk to y'all about none of this before, but I may um, talk to y'all about that one day and let you all know. Um, once I get more information on that, I'll let y'all know. But um, it's crazy, though, because after I left... After I left the the gas station, I said to myself, like, um, we'll see. You know, I was I was thinking about that what Miss Williams told me, you know, which she's my mother too. She's my godmother, she's my spiritual mother. And um I have been uh looking out for things like that because I'm a giver too as well. But I know I can't be doing that because of the warfare that comes with exchanging with certain people. You know, um, if you give to people that's in Christ, a lot of times you can inherit some of their spiritual gifts. Um, like me, when people get every every time somebody gave to me, like I don't know, it just they ended up blessed even more for some reason. I don't know, but it's it's some stuff that comes with it. It's even in the Bible. It's biblical. Yeah, um, some of this, a lot of it is biblical, but that's you know. So yeah, I'm really just trying to make it through my day today. I've been in bed all day. I've been in bed all day because I really don't know what to do. I really don't know. I don't even work in my hometown. I work like 30 minutes away. So I drive an hour a day for work. And um, luckily I am off the next four days. So I have time to get it together, I guess you could say. But as of right now, I am not okay. I'm gonna just be straight up, y'all. And I'm one thing about me, y'all, is I'm very honest with myself. I'm not finna. Uh, I'm tired of saying I'm okay too. By the way, when I'm when I'm not, um, I did that enough when I was going through witchcrafts and, and stuff like that. Tell me I was okay. Then I had to really tell people, look, look, I'm something is wrong with me, you know. And that didn't work out well at all either because people didn't know what I was talking about, and that didn't help. So. Um, it, I guess it's the shock of it all whenever, because I was not expecting that. You know, Miss Williams said it may not have had nothing to do with it, but I I really do feel like it did with me exchanging that money with that girl. Because that what just happened to me last night was just something out of the ordinary, something out of the blue. Um, this has never happened to me before. I've never even hit anybody before. And people coming up hitting me like, what in the world? But yeah, um, I had plans to make videos today. I have some subjects that I would like to talk to y'all about, but it's going to have to wait until I can mentally get myself together until I kind of get rid of some of this shock that's on me right now. Cause that did, I don't know, it's just, stuff like this, it takes a little time to get past a little bit and I'm gonna have to heal from this too as well y'all I'm um, thank God I'm aware of healing and and I'm aware of the things that I'm aware of see one thing let me tell y'all too one thing that the enemy be banking on is that y'all don't he, he know that we come into this world and don't be knowing nothing we have to seek Christ and then we gain knowledge and understanding through through the word of God and by having a relationship with God and by, you know, doing what we have to do, what we're supposed to do and studying and things like that. That's how we we gain knowledge of what's out here and what's going on and through experience. You know, they, they say experience is the best teacher, but that's a hard that's a hard teacher right there is the experience part. And a lot of this stuff, though, I be trying not to I don't be wanting y'all to go through a lot of it for y'all to get the knowledge of it because everybody don't make it. So everybody takes this stuff differently and 
Um, I'd rather just tell y'all um, so that y'all don't have to go through it. That's the point, you know. But so most most people will. So, um, yeah, the enemy don't expect us to know anything because we we're born not knowing anything and stuff like that. And so this is why we have to be open-minded about spirituality and stuff like that and have our discernment it's like two butterflies that just flew over me and um we have we're supposed to have our discernment and the crazy part about it y'all is i didn't get no signs of warfare at all yesterday i got no signs of warfare and i mean i'm still thinking like did i get a sign of warfare but i didn't you know usually i'll see like 666 or something or i hear some buzzing or something it's gonna be some kind of sign to let me know um that i don't need to you know i need to be watchful and things like that and vigilant but i i literally got no signs and um and this happened i'm still thinking because i don't i can't think of any sign that i got but i I'm, to be honest i got good signs all yesterday i got good signs all yesterday i'm to my deep good signs from the lord so maybe the situation is going to turn out to be good the police they looking for the person that did it um i don't know if they found them or not yet i think i believe they will let me know and right now i don't even think i can get a rental car i don't even i don't think i can get a rental right now but we'll see i don't know what to do i don't know what to do i'm gonna be straight up to y'all this year this year has been neck and neck good and bad it's it's been <clears throat> it's been very good and it's been very bad and it's been uh, the good and the bad is neck and neck ain't now i win the other with how this year has been for me i just haven't said anything because things have have been working out that's the reason why so and i used to complaining you know but um i I am working on my book. Just this year alone, I could write. I could write on. Just from this year alone, I could write about. I could write a whole book about this year. You know, I could probably write two books about this year alone, about the things that's been going on this year. Okay, but I don't know. But I know that I'm a strong person. I know that much. I do know that. But I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what my car look like what my car look like and if i be gone for a little while y'all just know that this is why this time this is why i'm gonna chill out until i figure this thing out all right so this is how it's looking right now i cannot drive this car at all people really wrapped me and took the heck off okay People peel my muffin cap back blue. Literally. If this was a muffin cap, this would what it look like. Whatever that is. I cannot drive my car, y'all. I I don't know what to do. I really don't. Look at this. I just replaced my windshield like a few months ago. That was like three hundred and something dollars. The Jeep was big, you know, it was a high up Jeep. So it pretty much jumped on top of my car. This is crazy. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna have to pray heavily tonight. <laughs> 